This is a compound bar chart where we're comparing the output of three different kinds of products. You can see we have a key here to identify the different products. We've given it a title, this is always very important. People worry about the title, but in general, what's it about? All right. We've labelled our axes, so it's thousands of units, and this is years along the bottom. The scale here, we could choose something like 1s, 5s, 10s, 20s, 50s, 100s. What you need to do is decide what's the biggest number you're plotting and then pick a suitable scale so that it will fill the page. You wouldn't go up in 7s or 9s, for example. So 1s, 2s, 5s, 10s, 20s, and so on, something like that. So this is an example of a compound bar chart. Where would you use this in the real world? If you had uh, three different people working for you, you could compare their sales figures over the years. If you were selling three different kinds of products in a salon, for example, you can compare the sales figures. So these kinds of charts are useful. It tells a story. You can see how things are going. How is one product compared to another? How is one salesperson's figures compared to another? So they are quite useful.